So the idea is, once all the clutter of technology has gone, you'll be able to furnish your rooms in any style you like. You won't actually be able to see the technology, but it will be there, doing its job without getting in your way. That means the lights automatically switch off and on as you walk between rooms. And the home learns how bright you like them. A simple command gives you music, perhaps piped in from a sound library. Park, please. And no more power points. Plugs become pads, picking up power from anywhere on the wall. <laughs> and even windows will take an active part in the home, according to another researcher, David Button. This is today's glass technology, whereby combining thin transparent coatings with ordinary conventional glass, we're able to change the performance of the glass. We can diffuse the glass for privacy, and with other coatings, we can control the glare and the solar radiation. In other words, we can vary the performance of the window. This liquid crystal display TV again involves a material sandwiched between two thin pieces of glass. Screens more than a metre wide are being developed. These systems depend on light passing through the glass. But this glass has a coating which can act as a light source in itself, becoming a prototype display screen. This imaging technology is embodied in very thin coatings which will be developed to be transparent. And when combined with ordinary glass, it means that your glass tabletop could become a VDU screen and indeed your window could become something very remarkable. So a simple command could turn a window into a wall and you could decorate it how you want. Or it could be a television or a computer screen. Well that may be a little futuristic or too expensive for most people. But there's one area where homes are going to have to change.